A little sea gonga, a little sea gonga. <laughs> Baruch here with midshipman first class, George Bowman III. Now let me ask you a question. You're young, we're young. We're young. A lot of young people are A, struggling to find jobs right now, B, figure out what they want to do. Right. This is a very clear life decision, a very clear career decision. You'll just stumble into being in the Navy. True. How did you make that decision? Um, it was actually very easy for me. Uh, both of my parents went to service academies. Uh, however, my dad went to West Point, which is our rival, and then my stepmom went to the Naval Academy. And uh, my, he actually met my mom at, at West Point too. So I was, I was slotted pretty much to go to a military academy when I was born and you know, it, it aligned with what I like to do and so you know, I went. It was destiny. It was destiny. Yes. Now we were just saying John McCain just warmed that seat for you and your response was? Uh, he, you know, it's, it's actually fitting because he graduated from the Naval Academy as well. So do you look up to politicians like that as role models? Yes, um, I feel personally that it's important for politicians, you know, to have some military experience or have some concept of what goes on in the military. That way when they make their decisions, you know, they're able to, you know, have some military mindset. However, I also understand the balance of not having military experience, that way you have that, you know, that balance which is always good. Could we be seeing a midshipman first class George Bowman the third for president? It's really funny that you say that. Anyone that knows me knows that I want to run for president. So Later in the future, uh, after you know I finish my tenure uh, in the Navy, I do want I, I do want to get into government and eventually run for president. And I've got the first interview with the future president. <laughs> Look at I that! that you, you realize this is a big day for me. Well, you know, once I get there, yes. And you'll give me your first interview once of you're course, elected. Of course. No, that, that's like a, that's an agreement, right? Agreement. We're on camera. Yeah, we're right on now. camera. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm back. Don't worry. <laughs> a lot of people, though, I found at least a lot of my friends in college, when I knew they wanted to run for office, that was in their planning. They would say, "Oh, I don't know. I don't know." I like when somebody just says, "Yeah, I want to be president." Why do you think? I mean, have you, have you sort of gotten some 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 pushing back when you say things like that? So, uh, I've always been the kind of person where, you know, I state what it is up front and, and I'd rather be forward with what it is. Now granted, I realize the chances of me becoming president, you know, are, you know, slim because a lot of things change within the next 20 years. However, I know that I feel like I can bring something to the table and I can do a lot of good in the position. So, you know, as I grow, as I mature, you know, I, I, I want to do it. Most important question, have you seen the Navy Gangnam video? Yes, I have. Uh, some of my friends are actually in that video. Um, it has gone absolutely viral, and I think it's only because they did such a good job as far as editing and making it awesome. Have you tried the dance yourself? I have. Can, uh, can we see? Can uh, we see? Like in the sea, maybe? In the sea? In, in, in a little sea, sea gonga? You know. A little sea gonga? <laughs> there we go, there but, we go. Uh, that video literally went viral overnight. It was absolutely insane. Like, I remember when it was at like a, a 100 views, I was like, wow, you know, that's actually a really put together spirit spot. Because for major games, uh, we typically do spirit spots, and that's basically, you know, we do something silly or something related, and then we say, you know, go Navy, beat whatever team it is. And so the Beat Van Island's really awesome. Well, they did a great job, and yeah, you're doing a great job, so thanks for talking to us. Thank you, I appreciate it's it. Good to meet you. Good to meet you as well.